We're in for a little bit of a treat today. Riding through the park. Sorry about not being in focus. Right there in the center. It's a uh, great blue herring. I'm gonna see if I can get a halfway decent photo of them with this smaller lens on. Right now I'm a little ways away. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. See if I can do some photos. Won't be a very very big video even if I do get photos. But it's still just a beautiful bird. See what I can do. Be back in a moment. Yeah, he flew away when I was trying to get a photo. Right now he's way out of reach for me to photograph with this lens. I thought I was getting a photo or a video of him flying. I thought it was so cool. And well, I learned a hard lesson. Make sure the little red dot indicating video is on. Because it wasn't, I got no footage. A couple seconds of the ground. I must have double clicked the button when I pushed it. So, I don't think I'm gonna get a photo to show. This video is gonna be very short. But it was still nice just to ride through the park and see such a beautiful bird. And I'm sure by the time I'm to the other side of the pond where he's at, he'll be gone again. Don't mean I'm not gonna try. Later, bye. I'm right over by where I saw him from the other side when I rode up the bike here. I did see him walk behind these trees that are straight ahead of me. I don't know how close I can get, if I'm gonna be able to get any footage or not, or any photos, but I'm gonna try. I'll probably scare him off before I get too close. They're very skittish birds. But I'm gonna try, see in a little bit. As you can see, I scared him off. Very skittish birds, I stepped on a branch, it hurt it and just took off. I'm going to try one more time. I doubt I'm going to get any footage, but this is how it goes sometimes when I do these type of shoots. That's what makes it so fun when I do get one of these photos. That's why I'm so proud of them. Later, bye. I can't find any trace of where it went this time, so I'm not going to get a photo. This video is definitely a wash as far as the photo goes, but finding it when it flew from one pond to another was just dumb luck so maybe some other time and I think I might have one other chance way 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 get this in focus Way over there, I thought I saw it just a second ago. I'm gonna ride to that area. If it's that, fine. If not, it could have just been a Canadian goose. At this distance, I couldn't tell anything. But I'm having a lot of fun chasing this guy down. I'd love to give you a photo. I don't think I'm gonna succeed. So, fingers crossed. If not, for the thumbnail, I'll just use an old photo I got from another blue heron. They're fun to photograph, but they run you ragged. Later, bye. Okay, there he is under that bush. I was right, it was him all the way across the pond. I don't think I'm gonna get footage, but I'm gonna try awful hard. And if he flies away this time, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna back out so it's not so jerky as I walk, and I'm gonna try to get close enough to get a photo. I kind of wish you could see what I see right now because he's fishing and if I don't get too close maybe I can get a photo I'm gonna try to kneel down he is watching me now all right I'm gonna zoom in and see what I can do buried underneath that stuff. Definitely not going to get a focus on them. I'm going to try to go around to the other side, see if I can do something from there. I just don't want to spook them. Okay, I'm back to the other side. Trying to sneak up on it a little bit. 
I'm not expecting to do very well. Very rough, very dangerous surface. This is going to be shaky and I apologize. Probably shouldn't turn the video on this soon. But I just like talking to the camera sometimes. And I scared it off. <sighs> I knew better. But it is what it is. It's my own fault. I should have gone. Actually, I can't see any vantage point I could go to. They're smart birds. They just don't want to be photographed. Don't want anyone near them. I probably got within about 15 foot of it coming through those reeds and, or weeds, excuse me, and that was too much. When I started to trip the second, boom, it saw me and flew off. To find a bird like that, I'd come out to one of these ponds and I'd just scroll around looking side to side at the edges. I'm gonna try to zoom in, see if I can get a little bit better, but like these general areas here, I would just scan around looking to see if I could see one. And I know it's a little out of focus for a second. They're not easy to find. Usually I find them if they're flying or I just happen upon an area I've seen one before. But they're very skittish, very, very hard to get close to. And I normally use my 300 millimeter lens to photograph one. And because it doesn't have image stabilization and doing video with it, it's really shaky, really bad. I decided I would do what I could with the 135 millimeter lens. It has some image stabilization and its autofocus isn't so annoyingly loud. But what you've seen earlier was just me trying to photograph a bird, scaring it off repeatedly. I think I got a little bit of footage of it flying I almost tripped and fell in the pond trying to get closer on the edge to photograph it. It's not easy. This particular photo is going to be a fail unless I just happen upon it elsewhere. I'm not expecting to. I'll uh, use a thumbnail of another photo I've taken probably last year or the year before using my 300 millimeter lens just to show you what I was trying to accomplish. and. I only wanted this video to show how difficult it is. Not every video has to be a success. Not every failed video has to be blamed upon some child running up and scaring off your target when you're trying to photograph it. This is just, it is what it is. But it was a lot of fun trying to photograph that bird, and I hope this video can be enjoyable to you. Later, and goodbye. One last thing, please like, subscribe, possibly even share this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I really like to know what you think of these videos. I'd like to keep making them, but if they're not what you want to see, just tell me. It all helps, okay? Bye.